I'm gonna do nothing, but like, I don't wanna do anything. <laughs> used to get my head done, used to have my nails long, used to wearing makeup every day. Hello, everybody. Happy Monday. I thought I would do another week in my life. I had so much fun making the last one, but it was definitely like a really special, crazy week in my life. So, this is gonna be like an ordinary kind of a week, which for me is unpredictable. I don't know what's gonna happen this week. I'm gonna take you along. But let's kick off the week with a little bit of a haul. All of this is actually from today's sponsor who is QVC. And let me tell you, I found some super cute things. Like, did you guys know QVC has barefoot dreams? And on top of that, they have mommy and me like matching. I was so happy to find that they had mommy and me matching barefoot dreams robes that are cheetah print. Like literally I have two blankets in this print from barefoot dreams. I love it so much. I did have to get a couple sizes up cause they were out of a bunch, but they had size six, which will probably fit arrow in two years, but I'm okay buying in advance. I picked up this little cute set and these make such good gifts. I got it in a size small. I picked out a couple of styles from her. I love Rebecca Minkoff. I got this boho kind of caramely bag and then this cute going out bag and then this oversized bag. I was also surprised to find Splendid on here. Look how cute these sweatpants are. Let me know, was I the only one that didn't realize QVC had all these fashion brands on there? Oh. Runway designer Jason Wu has some stuff on there. And like, loungewear from Alina Villasante of Peace Love World. And some cool California inspired casual wear from Candace Cameron Bure. If you do want to shop anything that I showed in my haul, I will have a link down below for you. Or you can just go to qvc.com, search style makers, and everything will be right there. Thank you QVC for sponsoring today's video and now to get into my typical Monday my Mondays at least this part is always the same I always upload a video on Monday and so I do that when arrow naps which is happening right now and then I'll just kind of sit and respond to comments but I also want to start off my week on a good foot and right now you can't tell but my apartment is a mess and it's kind of making me feel a little bit scattered and so I'm gonna do some little beginning of the week home cleaning so if you need some inspo for that in five four three two one everybody welcome to an actual car vlog I am currently heading to an Apple store to get a new iPhone I keep running out of storage on the smallest iPhone ever that I currently own and so I thought I would treat myself to a business expense of larger storage if I can chit chat with you for a second I don't know well, I do know what's going on with me, but I don't really know what's going on with me. And I thought I was alone in this until I talked to someone else who is also a recent mom. And for pregnancy, for me at least, and I know it's so different for everybody, I felt like so mood stabilized, so happy. You know, this is too bouncy, isn't it? And I know some people have the total opposite during pregnancy, but I didn't realize how unstable my emotions <laughs> feel and are like I just always feel like crying now and I keep thinking my period's gonna start or like something hormonal but I am just getting like more and more frazzled and disheveled and sizzled and just like overwhelmed and sad and I don't know <laughs> I mean I don't want to cry in every video but I keep like almost crying today and I'm not sad about anything. I'm in a slightly better mood. I think I'm just tired. So I'm gonna round out my me day by ordering a pizza. Actually, let me order that right now before I forget. I can't order my food because the apps are downloading. I did get some clothes from Zara for Arrow. Everything is gonna look really big because I got two T, but I feel like Zara 
does run a little bit big. Love their little sweatshirts online. You can actually get your baby's name on the sweatshirt. That's how I have her Aero sweatshirt. But I just picked up a basic one and then they had this cute little set. So it came with a little sweatshirt and little biker shorts. Did pick up this cute pair of little oatmeal leggings. Oh my God. I see you. I lied. I am gonna cry in every YouTube video, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> um, we did lunch. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so dramatic. I'm so dramatic. I make a point of, you know, not saying our co-parenting schedule and all the details because I just find it so personal and I don't think sharing it will help anyone else because it's so dependent on the two people, the two parents involved and their work schedule. And, and I just don't think sharing mine would be helpful, which is why I don't, but I will say why I'm crying right now is I just had to say bye to Arrow. We're doing our first overnight, which I don't know if that like surprises some people or not. A very personal situation, but I know a lot of people are going through the same thing and I'm just so sad. <laughs> and I know it's, it's silly in the sense that I've spent a time away from her and like I'm sleeping during the overnight time, but it just, just it just feels different and I know whether you're a single parent or you co-parent or you have your family come and watch your baby or you go out of town for work or whatever it may be at some point you have to do an overnight and so I think a lot of people will experience this emotion I just I don't know if I should like make plans and like go on a date and do dinner or like meet one of my friends I haven't seen in a while and do dinner. Like, if I'll just feel guilty doing it, but like, is it really any better for me to just sit at home and do nothing? But like, I don't wanna do anything. <laughs> I'm sorry this like week in my life, it's just been emotional, but I feel like if I try to like, do anything else today or say anything else or vlog anything else, then that wouldn't be authentic to how my week is going. morning it is thursday i had a very unrestful sleep without my daughter the fire alarms went off survived our night after a white claw and wine doesn't mix in case you're wondering arrow is coming home i'm like anxiously waiting for today's agenda we have our mommy and me class and then i'm going to finish the finalized pieces for my merch which will hopefully be done next month or two. I know I've been talking about it for a little bit, but like the behind the scenes of it is a little bit more complicated than I originally thought with my game plan. I wanted to do matching mommy and me sets, but according to the company that I'm working with, I might have to go in a smaller scale and do just like matching sweatshirt. So I'm trying to make like really good designs because if it goes well, then we will get pants. So, <laughs> cheers to being pants successful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, milk? I have milk for you. Mm -hmm. yeah! Happy Friday, everybody. I am currently editing a thumbnail. I have like an hour to kill, and then Arrow and I are going to our first mommy bb play date we have done two play dates in the past but this is the first one that but like this is like legit hanging out chilling socialization i am nervous i am excited i've actually never met this girl before she is another youtuber and i'm not gonna say who she is yet because one i've never met her i show very few people in my life i'm just i'm just i'm weird about that i'm already so awkward and i haven't really socialized that much at all in what feels like two years. Even before I put Arrow down for her nap right now, I was like looking through my kitchen and I was like, do I bring a gift? I don't know, I decided I'm gonna bring wine. It seems casual, not that I think we're gonna drink the wine. It is like 11 a.m. I just feel like I'm at that age that I can't roll up empty handed to like somebody's house. And my only other option would be to bring bananas, which no, I think I'm gonna do the wine. 
I don't even, I honestly don't even know if she drinks. Does she? I don't know, I just hope that it works out without putting too much pressure on everything because it would just be really cool to be friends with like another mom who understands what I do. And then also Arrow can have a friend who is pretty much really close in age because I've noticed definitely at the mommy and me classes yesterday was probably the best it's ever went and it's still like, didn't go too great. And so I'm getting in my box, I'm making moves, getting out of this flipping bedroom. I swear I'm not in here as much as it looks like on camera. It's just my place to film when my daughter naps. I think I am in here too much. Okay, I am going to edit my thumbnail. That's the one new video, my one year body postpartum update. Check it out if you haven't, I'll link it down below. I don't know if I'm gonna film anything else today because I really just have this play date on my agenda, but if you like this video, make sure to give it a like if you're not subscribed. Turn bell notifications on. If you do want to shop anything that I showed in my haul, I will have a link down below for you. Thank you QVC for sponsoring today's video. If you have any requests for future videos, leave them in the comments down below. I'll let you go now. I hope you have an amazing week and I will see you next Monday. Bye.